Hey everybody, welcome back to my living room in beautiful Barcelona. I'm back here with Laura from La Casita Hola. de Laura. Uh, Laura, Hi, we talked last time. We know that you are in Gran Canaria and that you have a Spanish academy and you also give online classes down there, right? Exactly, exactly. So if you need to learn Spanish, just uh, hit me up. La Casita de Laura, learn Spanish. Great, yeah. And how's the weather down there in Gran Canaria today? Beautiful, as always. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful here in Barcelona, but I can imagine it's warmer and even sunnier down there. <laughs> so today we wanted to talk about how to order coffee in Spanish, because every country has a coffee culture and, you know, you can, right. you can order a lot of different things, but you need to know the vocabulary. So let's get to it. Do you drink coffee yourself? Sí, me gusta mucho el café. I drink Great. coffee. What do you morning. drink? Uh, normalmente yo bebo un americano. I normally have an americano every morning. For la okay, la well, we can start mm -hmm. there. So what's an americano? Un americano es un espresso, un espresso con mucha agua, with a lot of water. Yeah. I guess up to your taste, right? Because I've seen different options, but I like it like a, I call it like a swimming pool. <laughs> Una <Yeah>. piscina. <laughs> yeah, so I'm from the US and we have this, um, this fame of drinking terrible watery coffee. And so this is better than most of what you would get in the US. You know, if you're drinking drip coffee, it's just, mm -hmm. yeah, espresso with some hot water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that's um, pretty common. What do you think if I just go to a bar somewhere and I say, un café, por favor, what do you think they'll give me? Probably normally café con leche, probablemente, yeah. or, or un solo, un café solo, which is like an espresso. Yeah, I actually did this a couple of times back in the day. I made the mistake of just ordering un café, por favor. And I got café con leche most of the time. Yeah. So that's yeah. kind of the standard here in Spain. So yeah. café con leche is just espresso with some milk. Milk. It's not exactly a latte like you would get in Starbucks because a latte, they have, they, they foam the milk and it's Foamy maybe, milk, yeah. Yeah, it's maybe a bit more elaborate. Um, and I can think of, you know, different ways that people order café con leche. It's not just, you know, not everybody wants the same thing. Um, so and, and how do you order café funny. con leche? Yeah, I wanted to mention that it's funny how we call it café con leche, un café con leche, but mm. in fact, it's like leche con café because the amount of milk, it's yeah. more, it's more milk than coffee in it. Yeah. So it should be like leche con café, por favor. I mean, I guess it could, <laughs> but that's, uh, yeah. So, and we can talk about the temperature of the milk. People will ask for the milk in three different temperatures, as far as I know. Oh, see. Fría o caliente o templada. Templada, like lukewarm. Lukewarm, yeah. So leche fría is cold milk, obviously. The the adjective follows the gender of leche, which is feminine, and leche caliente and leche templada, you know, hot oh. or lukewarm milk. I think if you ask for templada, they just kind of put some hot and some cold. Probably. And, Probably. you know, you mix it a little bit. Yeah. In Madrid, it's also common for people to ask for café con leche en vaso, and they give it to you in like a little... Yeah. You know, glass, yeah. glass, you know, a taller glass, exactly like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, I've never gotten a good reason, but people think it, you know, tastes better or retains the heat mm. or it doesn't retain the heat or something. I think they get burned. I think they simply get burned. They like getting burned, like their fingers. They want to feel the heat on their yeah, fingers. Possibly. I don't know. Yeah. Because you get, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So those are different ways you can order café con leche. Uh, we talked about café solo. Café solo is just an espresso, basically. 
Um, but with no no cream, like Italians are like super. My boyfriend he's Italian, so cafe uh -huh. espresso normally has like a bit of foam, but from coffee from like the espresso machine. So it's like a, this little beautiful cream that it, I don't know. It's yeah. like a foam on top. Better of the coffee. Better espresso should have that, as far as I yeah. No. Yes, but then cafe solo. If you go to a bar in Madrid, right? They may get it just like black, no foam. Yeah, it depends on how well they're making it. I used to. One of my first jobs was as a barista making coffee. Oh, so. I didn't know. Yeah, it's just one of those badly paid things I was doing when I was younger, and you know, it's I learned how to make um, good coffee. Now I don't care much. I just need the caffeine to get me. <laughs> <laughs> excited about my day um after that we have cortado See, that's probably well in the canary islands and las islas canarias la mayoría de las personas no the majority of people they get cortado pero cortado cortado can be corto or largo and this is interesting because corto short or largo long or large mm. it's um the amount of milk not the amount of coffee yeah they give you basically a cafe solo for me cortado is just a cafe solo with a little bit of milk with a little bit of milk yes yeah. corto yeah and then if you say cafe uh, if you say cortado largo they would add milk to it cortado largo okay yes and then it's not it's it's not a cafe con leche yet because cafe con leche again is like leche con cafe what i mentioned before okay Okay, so oh, yeah. cortado largo is less milk than café con leche. Yes. Okay. And well, and it can be served here. It's served in like these long glasses. Okay. Long glasses. Mm -hmm. Well, so my girlfriend is not big into café, into coffee. But the other day we went to a place and she was Googling things she could order. And she found one called leche manchada. Mm -hmm. And I thought this was ridiculous because I've never heard of this. And she but she asked the waiter and the waiter knew exactly what she meant. What is a leche okay. manchada? I guess it's like a macchiato in Italian. So it's like a stain of, a stain of like coffee in this case. Sure, so I think macchiato like is actually the cortado, but uh, leche manchada is like milk with just a tiny bit of coffee. Okay, so then it's, then it's probably different. So then it's like leche. Yeah. Like a cafe con leche, and then there's manchado, just like of yeah, it's coffee. just milk with a okay. tiny, tiny bit of coffee for people who don't actually like coffee. Um, what I usually get when I order coffee, I get largo, which mm -hmm. is maybe maybe I didn't even know what I was ordering when I asked for un cafe largo. I'm hoping for something with more coffee and also more water than what they typically serve here because if I get a coffee and it's like this big I'm kind of disappointed I want a little bit more volume on my coffee and what did you get what did you get then what did they give you it, it varies sometimes they give me americano sometimes they give me just you know espresso but in a double yeah espresso. like maybe more coffee more yeah more coffee in the machine but the same <laughs> amount of water as usual I don't know it varies I think or maybe I just don't know what I'm ordering and I explain things badly yeah. yeah, I think also baristas, like you said, maybe they are not too fancy on the way they prepare the coffee and they're just used to like cortado because everybody has cortado or cafe con leche. So then whatever yeah. goes out of that, you know? Yeah, it depends a lot on the place. The reason I thought of making this video is because I went to a place here in Barcelona the other day and it's a fancy new place. Everything on the menu is in English. And I oh, looked at the menu, well, it's, you know, a mix of English and Italian because espresso is espresso and of course. all that. Of course. But one of the things on the menu was cold brew. And so I said cold brew to the guy and he just looked at me. And I said it again, cold brew. And then I'm like, oh God, how do I pronounce this in Spanish so he can understand it? And I'm like, un cold brew, brew, cold brew. And then he got it. Did you okay i was gonna say did you get the coffee <laughs> yeah eventually i did but um okay but yeah I, you know I think, we, I think is but so then it's like uh like probably it's like um 
like filtered maybe cold brew maybe is with... you um make you never heat it you just put the coffee grounds and the water and you kind of like filter it and like pressure coffee maybe no pressure but you filter it okay after, i've after seen this pressure hours oh. i just have a I, I have one here at home it's just like a a glass thing with a filter in it and you put the okay. you put the coffee you put the water you let it sit for 24 hours and then you strain it you filter it and okay. you drink what's left over um it it makes like a concentrate so you should add some water or some milk afterwards and it's just a nice smooth summery thing and it's yeah. like fresh no refreshing uh, i think yeah. probably because what I've seen, no, what, what I've seen my friends ordering when we go to a bar in summer and maybe after eating, they feel like, oh, I feel like a coffee, but it's mm. it's warm outside. I don't want like a hot espresso. So they get the uh, cafe con hielo. So they get the, the espresso and they get a glass with maybe ice, like two, two pieces of ice or ice cubes. Yeah. And yeah, and they just pour it and then drink it. Yeah, that's a good one too. Cafe con hielo. Cafe which... con hielo. Yeah, in the U.S., we might be accustomed to getting iced coffee, which is a little bit different. So that's like this. a frappe, no? Like with the the ice, like um, how do you call it? Like frozen coffee? Well, that would be something else. I don't, I don't drink much of that. But iced coffee would generally just be something that they made hot and then put over ice. If you got, order okay. cafe con hielo, they're just going to give you, yeah, like you said, espresso and ice, and, and the ice, the one over the other, and and there you go. Yeah. Um, I've got a couple more here. Cappuccino, I suppose you can get a lot of places here. This is um, Cafe Bonbon. Mm, sí. It's a cafe solo, no? Un espresso. Con leche condensada. Yeah, condensed, condensed sweetened milk. condensed milk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they put some sweetened condensed milk in there. It ends up being yeah. sweet and milky a little bit and as the coffee creamier because it's fatter fattier so, yeah yeah it's fattier and then that reminds me that we have in the canary islands leche 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 we call it so milk and milk you'd be like but i ordered coffee <laughs> what is leche <laughs> leche i don't want milk and milk leche leche um is in fact um espresso with milk so it would be like a cortado Corto normally, uh, and then they add condensed milk. Or they put the condensed milk first, then they add the coffee, and then they add the regular milk or whatever. Okay, your so it's just got is. extra milk. So instead of sugar, you yeah. use the condensed milk. So yeah, and we have leche leche corto or leche leche largo. Great. Okay. <laughs> it's I, sweet. It's sweet. Yeah, and I would assume there's other regional things about coffee that yes. you know neither of us know much about um since we're talking about sugar you can order azúcar which is just sugar mm -hmm. you can also okay. order coffee with sacarina yes mm -hmm. and sacarina they'll just give you some little thing with tiny tablets in it probably and you or the liquid one i think some places also have like the liquid one possibly the, yeah, the... yeah. so it's just an artificial sweetener um, and finally, we have decaf. How do we order a decaf? Descafeinado. Descafeinado. Yeah. Does, is there an accent somewhere in that word? I feel like cafeína might have an accent on it. Cafeína does, but descafeinado doesn't have a tilde, no, the written accent, but it does have a stress on des. Descafeinado. Descafeinado. Okay. Um, and you can order two different kinds of that, right? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 you're, you're right. So descafeinado de máquina means mm. like espresso, yeah. decaf. And then descafeinado de sobre, like a little sachet, like Nescafe ones. Yeah, yeah, a lot of places oh, might not <laughs> have, um, you know, if you're going to make decaf espresso, you need to have an extra grinder. And yes. a lot of places don't have the extra grinder, so they just have, a, you know, Nescafe, basically, and you can get Descafeinado de Sobre. And some people would prefer Descafeinado de Sobre anyway. It's softer. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's uh, coffee. And there's, I guess, a lot more you can say. And, you know, 
types now of milk, there's these actually. more modern places where you can order all kinds of things like cold brew or or batch brew or whatever and that's yeah. a whole different story but but yeah or, or leche de soja soy milk oh, leche yeah. de soja leche de avena oat milk yeah, leche okay. sin lactosa uh, I never even thought of that because I never drink coffee with milk, but you're right. Lots of places now they have at least two or three or four different kinds of milk. Leche de soja, leche de avena, leche sin lactosa, leche de almendra. Leche desnata o de almendra, yeah, almond milk, de almendra, o leche desnatada. Desnatada, yeah, which is skim milk. Skim milk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, skim milk. <laughs> do they have I don't, it, it very much depends on the place you're going if they're going to work with you on the 11 different types of milk because you know i'm sure there's somebody out there who wants leche leche semi desnatada de cabra organica del monte no sé qué these days everything is possible <laughs> yeah. but not every like spanish bartender not in every on. Yeah, not in every cafeteria. In a local, local, local bar in Madrid, you may get cortado, café con leche, and solo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you go to a fancier place, there's all kinds of other yeah. things. Well, cool. Um, how can people find more about you, Laura? They can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, as La Casita de Laura Learn Spanish. And if they need help with their Spanish, I'm here to help them. I'll be pleased to help them. Great. Well, I'll uh, talk to you soon. Bye. Yeah, hasta pronto.